These are the login and logout time of a few employees working in a company. Using this data, we need to calculate the total hours worked by each employee, then the extra hours that is overtime, finally the compensation for overtime. And while calculating overtime payment, we need to consider these conditions. Work exceeding 8 hours is considered overtime. However, to be eligible for overtime pay, a minimum of 30 minutes of overtime is required. So these are the two conditions to consider while calculating overtime payment. Now let's start with the total hours worked. In normal case, subtracting login time from logout time will give us the total hours worked. But if we use that formula here, we may face some issues. Let me show you what I mean. Equal logout time minus login time. Enter. Total hours worked is 8 hours 45 minutes. Let's copy this formula into the cells below. See these two cells are displaying a series of hash signs. And that is because the formula returned a negative time. Here the login time is 7.48 pm and logout time is 5.15 am that is next day morning. Again login time is 7.15 pm, logout time is 5 am next day morning. Another issue is we need the result as a number not as hours and minutes. So let me undo these actions. For calculating total hours worked, equal if function, open parenthesis. First argument of if function is logical test. To check whether logout time is greater than login time, logout time greater than login time, comma. Second argument of if function is value if true. If logout time is greater than login time, subtract login time from logout time. Select the cell containing logout time minus select the cell containing login time, comma. Third argument value if false. If logout time is not greater than login time, subtract login time from logout time and add 1. Logo time minus login time plus 1 plus parenthesis to convert the result into a number multiply with 24. Enter. Total hours worked is 8.75 hours which is equivalent to 8 hours 45 minutes. Let's copy this formula into the cells below. And we have the total hours worked by each of these employees. Next is extra hours that is overtime. Let's see the condition for calculating extra hours. Work exceeding 8 hours is considered overtime. For calculating extra hours, equal total hours worked minus 8 enter. Overtime is 0.75 hours which is equivalent to 45 minutes. Let's copy this formula into the cells below. And we have the extra hours worked by each employee. Next is compensation for overtime. Let's check the condition for payment. To be eligible for overtime pay, a minimum of 30 minutes of overtime is required. That is a minimum of 0.5 hours is required. See the second employee here, extra hours is 0.12 which is equivalent to 7 minutes. Again 0.38 hours which is equivalent to 23 minutes. So we need to consider this condition too. Only those employees with a minimum of 0.5 hours or 30 minutes will be eligible for payment. For calculating overtime payment, equal if function, open parenthesis. To check whether extra hours is greater than 0.5 hours or 30 minutes, select the cell containing extra hours greater than 0.5, comma. If extra hours is greater than 0.5, multiply it with wage. Extra hours multiplied by wage, comma. If extra hours is less than 0.5, the employee won't be eligible for overtime payment. Double quotes, double quotes, close parenthesis, enter. Copy this formula under the cells below. And we have the overtime compensation for each employee. Here the extra hours is 0.22, which is equivalent to 13 minutes. And that's why this employee is not eligible for overtime payment. Let me change the logout time here. Now overtime is 2.12 hours. And here is the compensation for overtime. 